will never break. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I have a modifications for the Ender 3v3 and I'm gonna install it on the Ender 3v3 right now. Let's go to these modifications. So the modifications that I made for the Ender 3v3 is this thing right here. Yep, yep, you saw right, correctly, right? This is going to be a top mount for the Ender 3v3. This piece was printed on the Ender 3v3 itself. I modeled this on Fusion 360 and I think it turns out pretty good. I made some of these triangles just to cut some materials and just to make it look extra cool, one on each side and I made these just, I don't know, just for fun and, and the 3v3 logo right here I originally designed this to be printed with the screws and yeah, you just take this and plug it in, slide it and it's ready to go but that is this piece right here, it's very similar but as you can see on the top <laughs> it got ripped off yep, so yeah, look at that it just got ripped off. I mount this on here and you can just light it. It's like this one, but this one I screwed up because it's way too far apart. It's designed like this. So you just plug this in, push it, and it's fixed right there. You have a spool of filament bending this way. Eventually, it's gonna break and that's what happened right there. And then so I designed this piece to have mounting screw up here and you don't need any additional screw except for two and three at the back here so here is what you will need you will need your 3d printed part of course right the two screw that comes with the 3d printer for the side mount just take it out you will need allen wrench not quite sure what size this is but when you get the 3d printer right it comes with a set of screws like this and it's you need the biggest one and you need the second biggest one so you need both of these allen wrench and you also need additional mounting screw here. These are M3 times 12. The two screw are for the back hole and I will show you on the ND3v3 on the back right there. It has two holes that fits the M3. I feel like that's exactly what Creality was trying to make this ND3v3 into for your filament to mount on top but or they just don't want to do the top mount uh, for whatever reason I don't know why. But on Creality's YouTube channel the ND3v3 the KE and the SE are print at the same time, racing, trying to print a print. And I saw the Ender 3v3 has a top mount that is not like this, but it's similar, but not exactly like this. I made this myself, but okay, enough talking. Let's get mounting right now. Okay, before we get mounting, I just want to tell you that if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, because amazing videos like this are coming very soon, and you don't want to miss those videos because more modifications and more helpful videos is coming your way very soon. Let's go and mount this thing. The voice will be a little bit different, but these two holes up here essentially fits with M3. I feel like it's exactly for top mounting. You take your 3D printed part, use these screws that are for the side mount, and you screw them up here. If you want to download this and do this yourself, I will have a link down below so you can go and just reprint this. Oh, and by the way, if you don't have any M3s, I will have a link down below so you can get yourself some screws. And those screws are actually pretty nice. $20 for about 1,500 pieces of screw nuts and bolts is actually really good. Okay, here we go. You don't want to over tight this because you don't want anything to break or anything like that. It's super tight. It's not going to come out at all. Let's do the second one. Okay, there we go. Just make it tight, not too tight. So now for the screw, you will be putting in the back here. Just screw them in until a little bit of it comes out like that. So you just want to line up these two and then just screw it in. Use the M3 Allen wrench and spin. Okay, halfway for that. Then let's do the other one. There we go. We are done. You don't want to over tight any of them because if you over tight it, it will break. You put it here and then slide it over. Like that. Two hands. There we go. Click. And we can just mount it right there. Oh my gosh. That is so nice. So much space saving. Okay, you might wonder if it's gonna have contact with anything. Nope. I designed it too so that it does not make contact with the belt. It has this thing so that if you mount it here, it's gonna pull it like that. It has this thing to latch onto. 
so it doesn't break and if you go the other way it will never break this is tight before you mess around with it <laughs> quick disclaimer if you do the top mount like how I do here, you're gonna have to sacrifice the filament runout sensor because this thing is not long enough. If you want to, you can have an extension cord and remove this, put it somewhere up here. I have not made that yet, but if you want to, you can actually do that. I guess eventually in the future, I will try to make a mount for this, like behind here, but it's gonna be a little bit more work because this thing is gonna, it's gonna home but you still have really good clearance right there. So it still works. If you also want to, you can remove this tube and mount it upward, but usually top mount does not require any tube. So I just take it off and put it to the side here. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. We are finished. You can also reverse this to this side over here if you wanted to. That is so much less mess because if you use a brand new filament like this and it's very full, put it on the side here. When this thing home, it pulls filament, and then when it goes back, it let the filament go, and then it's gonna get stuck on the bed here. It's gonna get stuck on the core. It's gonna get stuck all all over the place. I got that happen many times, so that's why I finally decided to make the top mount. Well, yeah, that is pretty much it with this video of me showing the modification I made to the end of three v three to make it a top mount spool instead of the side mount because the side mount is kind of annoying. You gotta use. You gotta use this thing all the time, and if you are constantly changing filament, you gotta put this in, take it out, put this in, take it out. Because if you don't do that, it's gonna get tinkle and stuff like that. Top mount does not really get tinkle, so I like it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to do this modification to your N3 V3, I will leave links down below for everything, including the file, the screws that I use, and stuff like that. And anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you subscribe to this channel because more amazing stuff is coming. And thank you so much for watching. As always, keep on 3D printing.